Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some custom routing. So we're going to show you how to navigate between pages with name root. So instead of constantly doing first screen class or second screen class or whatever it's called, doesn't matter whether it's split into separate files or not, I've got some errors. That's what we're going to be fixing in this video. What we can do is, is essentially name the root. And the benefit of that is one, you can name the class whatever you want and you can constantly be rain obviously you shouldn't be renaming the class but if you have to the roots will just you know stay the same plus you can have a bit more of a descriptive name in the root maybe the class you want it to be called something slightly different and if you come from like, let's say a web development background this will feel right at home for you so what we want to do in the run up we're going to put title i'm going to put name roots demo and what we are going to put next is initial root. I'm missing something. I'm missing. First of all, inside of here, we need to have a material app. Instead, we would usually create like the first screen class, and that's what we would invoke. But inside of here, we're going to have the title. We're going to have the name, roots demo. We are going to have initial root and this is going to be forward slash it's basically going to be the home page and we are going to have roots now, put curly braces and in here we're going to have the initial root which is forward slash and we need to specify it by doing colon context and then the arrow operator i'm going to say first screen and then any other roots, we just put comma, then the root name. So four slash and for second, so that'll be the second page root. And we put context. And then we put well, whatever the class is called. And that's it. Now to actually navigate to it, to navigate from it's still you know dot pop context, that doesn't change. But to navigate to it, you do navigator dot push named. Do the context and then you put a root name so you put four slash i mean cola or no speech marks single speech marks quotation marks forgot the name and then you put second semicolon and if we do a hot restart and if i click the on screen computer is running a bit slow but obviously shouldn't be this slow ah, it's all right now there you go but we're using name root so this just refers to whatever this is pointing to obviously your class is going to be more complex than this but apart from that that's really all you need to know if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video